What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Los Angeles at Riff with designer Don C. Shout out. Every time I talk to people in power, they always see that passion and what ideas I'm always pitching. We're gonna browse his shelves, see what he's feeling. We're gonna talk about his upcoming Jordan collaboration. It's unbelievable just being a kid from Chicago that's not an entertainer. And then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. All day, let's get busy. Let's do it. So Don, let's start in Chicago. Growing up in the late 80s and 90s, what was it like in terms of style? Man, Chicago style was always influenced by the streets. Mm -hmm. You know, the hustlers had the money, so they had the freshest clothes. And by we being in Chicago when Mike first came there, Ever since 84, we've been repping Jordan. Right. Talk about the threes and being in Chicago and when that hit. Man, this shoe was like, it's had a rebirth so many times in popular culture, but it first came to us in February of 1988. Mike Waters in the dunk contest. Yeah. And in the All-Star game that he dropped 40 points in, which was only second to Wilt Chamberlain's 42, a record that still stands in this shoe right here. Jordan drops the three, everyone goes crazy, and then he drops the black cement four. Yeah, and right when you thought MJ and Tinker could get no better, then they came with this one. And then this one, he even had more memorable moments in. Game five against Cleveland, that shot on Elo happened with, with this in the face of the Cleveland fans. <laughs> y'all get y'all payback now, but <laughs> Back in the late 80s, me and my father used to be stunting on y'all. <laughs> How crazy is it Man. for you to have a shoe with Jordan, a person you idolize and that it's we all idolize? It's unbelievable, uh, especially just being a kid from Chicago that's not an entertainer, but I'll just be on my hustle. I'll have a love and a genuine love for the culture. So every time I talk to people in power, they always see that passion and what ideas I'm always pitching. So I appreciate them just giving me the opportunity. It's safe to say you kind of took a risk. You had the sixes, the threes, the fours. These are sure bets in terms of designing a Jordan. You did more of a sleeper with the Jordan two. Jordan Brand and myself, we collaborated on the two because this shoe has a lot of history behind it when it comes to luxury sportswear. Mm -hmm. It's the first time that a sports sneaker brand took a luxurious approach on a basketball shoe in um, February of 1987 when they dropped this one. To me, it, it made sense. Like mm -hmm. Nike first went to factories in Italy to produce the original run of these. So these are similar aesthetics about what my brand is about. Mm -hmm. I try to use the best materials possible with the caps and all of our products. So we, we thought it was a good story to tell with this particular Jordan. And this was the second project I did with Brand Jordan. Um, I, I first designed the Jordan 1, mm -hmm. which was only available on charity auction. Right. So it made sense to go to the two. And then maybe next, the three, the four, the five, we might just hit them in a row like nice. that. Nice, that'd be exciting. Y'all hear me, jump man boys? <laughs> Let's talk about where it all started, the Jordan 1. Oh man, uh, you know, this is, the, this is the OG holy grail to really like modern day sneaker culture. Mm -hmm. um, did you have those growing up? How oh, tough absolutely. Was you did? My, yeah, my Uncle Stanley, he used to bless me because he used to sleep with the girl that managed the Foot Locker when I was a shorty. So we walk in, me and my cousin, Sky Jordans, float in my hand. Wow. I had these, the originals, the black and blues. So these was like, when you wanted to gang bang one color and then you did the blues when you wanted to do the other color. Uh, man, the story, it's too much, it's too many memories on right. this shoe. It just hasn't ever stopped being in my constant rotation. It's always good to like market products based on the story. So when we chose the two, you know, when you see the craftsmanship of the shoe, you see what we source the leather, mm -hmm. the approach on it with the hardware, mm -hmm. with the veg tan, we was inspired by, you know, brands that I'm not gonna mention right now. <laughs> I'm gonna see what up, Coco, how you feel? <laughs> but you know, it, it, that's just what inspired me and that's the approach I want to bring to the footwear. So Don, we covered the old history of Jordans. Let's take a walk over here and talk about the new company that you're in, these exclusive collaborations Jordan's doing. All right, let's do it. So Don, yep. you come from a crew of 
creatives. Is there any friendly competition between you, Virgil, Kanye, when a new product of yours drops? Oh, no. Nah. Can't nobody even compete with Ye, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> This man put these shoes out that just put the world on fire. Definitely, you guys are controlling <laughs> a lot of this industry right now. I'm just happy that the world goes that way. If Jordan was playing nowadays, there's a good possibility that he would be wearing your shoes on court. As a kid who came up in Chicago, what would that mean to you? Man, that's like one of the most awesomest things of all time, if Mike even looked at my shoe, uh, <laughs> which I'm sure he did. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate my boy Jimmy Butler. Mm -hmm. He's from Chicago. He could rock the Just Dons, you know what I'm saying? And speaking of Jimmy Butler, we got the Jimmy Butler PEs right here, the 29s. So I, I rep these in the streets, you rep these on the court. Growing up, you had Jordan. The kids these days have LeBron and Kobe. a little older, the Kobe's. Yeah. How do you feel about their lines and what they're doing? Oh man, I love the LBJ, especially mm -hmm. these South Beach 2 editions. The Kobe's is fresh. Even the high up ankle joints I mess with. And I think um, like these particular models, they don't connect with me as much as I see they do with the kids today. But I respect it because I think that 20 years from now, they'll look back on these models and it'll spark up the exact same nostalgia the Cement 3 does for me today. Absolutely. So Don, you had a chance to look around. What are you feeling to pick up? Aw, oh, man. I definitely need a pair of these white cement fours. 10 and a half, OG ones. 10 and a half, yes sir, appreciate you. I think I need these shadows. 10 and a half in these. I need another pair of these, even though these just dropped. Another 10 and a half, please. Uh, definitely the Carmines. That first championship shoe. And, oh, and 10 and a half and the infrared sixes. Shoe he won in, shoe he celebrated in. All right. So as you guys can see, Don came through, Cop 7 Classics. Everyone make sure you go check out the Just Don pop-up shop January 30th in downtown LA. All day, beach is better. Jordan, Just Don, January 30th, Main and 9th, downtown Los Angeles. See you there. Let me help you, with this, help you with some Good of these. Thanks, Riff boys. You know, uh, DJ Khaled is most definitely somebody I look up to. Card, that's easy, but you can't. You can't do this. <laughs> Tell me, how do this, I do this, it? This is the bad boy dash, but you gotta put the step in. We're breaking down the best Jordans of 2015. This song is the hottest in St. Louis. St. Louis don't support it. <laughs>